Any suggestions on a name for the new channel? <laughs> yeah, if any of you people have a, a name for the new uh, 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 fleshing channel, uh, make a suggestion. In the box, in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound like those guys who are going. In the comments below. In the comment section below. We have questions. Yeah. Well, at least you're not on screen pointing down to your crotch. No, that's true. Yeah, that's what they all do, don't they? They, they point down to their crotch. Yeah. Right. Amazing. You want me to go on screen and point down to my crotch? No. That is okay. You don't have to point to your crotch. I'm trying to get this as There's the ear as intact as possible, so that I can see the muscle tone. Have you ever done a squirrel? Yet? No. It's my first squirrel. Now, did we discuss in other videos how you got into this? Um, some of it. It's mostly... There was always death around the house. Yeah, I remember. So, I didn't... I've never been too grossed out by very much of anything. Yeah. But getting into the decorating of skulls was, um, my art teacher, grade 11 and 12, had taxidermy specimens in the art room to use for still life. And I was always interested in them and I they were in bad repair because they were the school's property and they used to be in the science lab. And then in grade 10 we got an art teacher. No, it was grade 9 we got an art teacher. And she used to let the students do art projects using pieces of the taxidermed animals. The, um, the peacock, they, she used to let them pluck his feathers out. And they'd cut off the eyes of the feathers. And, and his head he was he literally hanging by a thread. So he was pretty much decapitated, except for one little tiny piece of string holding it to the neck, where he had been stitched up, because they're such old specimens. Yeah. And I was looking at them one day, and they're all dusty and dirty. And I t asked my art teacher if I could restore them. And he was all excited. and said, you can do that? And I said, yeah. It wouldn't be that hard. And he said, well, if you can do it, go ahead and do it. So I spent my class time and my lunch hours restoring these animals. And he also had a whole bunch of skulls in the classroom as well. And I couldn't really paint those skulls, so I brought in some home was the mice and the squirrel skull from home. You know, like a lot of, you know, when you, when you mentioned people being grossed out by this, you know, you know ultimately, I, I believe that, you know, like, I don't remember, like, yeah, I do actually remember the first time I've seen an animal skinned. I was about uh, seven years old, and my neighbor had gotten two deer. And uh, he was going to skin them. They were hanging. He, he was building an extension on his house. And uh, he had two deer hanging in the, uh, you know, the unfinished part of the, the house there. And uh, his son and I were best buddies, right? We were gonna, he was going to skin the deer that night. Six thirty after supper. I go over it, and you know I'm standing there. You know, you know this guy is a World War II veteran. You know, big hunter. Very nice man. Uh, and uh, he started to do the deer. Well, his son, as soon as he seen the blue red <laughs> of the deer, he took off. But I stood there. You know, through the whole time he was doing it, and you know, and I was, I said to him, I said, uh, you know, I sure would mind having the the hide. 
He said, well, what do you want that for? I said, well, I'm going to get Mum to make a Davy Crockett suit for me. And he said, yeah, you can have the hide. And he kind of snickered. So after he finished, he said, well, take which one you want and uh, you know, take it home. So gather up this hide. Right? It was pretty heavy, too. You know, like I said, I was only seven, oh dear. Yeah, I was only seven years old. I'm dragging this thing home. I get to the door, and I'm kicking the door, right? Because I got this thing, I'm holding it in my arms. And my mother comes to the door, all agitated. She goes, what? And she said, what do you got there? And I said, and I'm right excited. And I said, uh, uh, he gave me the hide. He gave me the hide. You can make myself, you can make me a Davy Crockett suit. You can make, she said, you take that hide back to him, and you tell him to stuff it up his ass. <laughs> and, and I was like crestfallen, I was destroyed and I had to take the hide back I never told him to stuff it up his ears but he was laughing he knew right, you know and uh, he, he was, you know, it was it was hilarious um, uh, you know, and oh geez well, he's gone he passed away there a couple years ago a few years ago Yeah. He went ashore at Normandy. I see the um, the nerves and blood vessels that go to the whiskers. Yeah. But when, ex when examining skulls, yeah. you can tell how how important the whiskers were in sensory perception just, by the just just holes. hang on a second. Just hold that up right right there like you know what like what I noticed it was kind of in shadow yeah. but what like when you see rodents born it's almost what they look like yeah right yeah you know it, it's that's the color they are when yeah they're born. It's, it's I just noticed that right I, I, I and it didn't dawn on me and and because uh, I have seen uh, hamsters born and mice born you know, newborn mice and hamsters, and they're pinker, of course. Yeah. Well, they have skin. <laughs> yeah. They have, oh, yeah, they have skin. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you know what? Well, I was getting back to what I was saying about people being grossed out by this. Um, you know, but they don't have any com any problem, you know, preparing to roast, you know, beef roast no. in the oven, or and and it's it's just no different. It's just I think it's just the thought of of this right now I know my mother was never grossed out by it I mean I've seen her do rabbits and stuff when I was a kid and uh, you know but those people you know you know that older generation you know they had seen so much and lived a different you know a whole different life well also the era that she was born the Victorian era they, it was a, a completely different culture. They used to take pieces of their dead and keep them as keepsakes. They would keep teeth and hair. They'd make elaborate necklaces and bracelets and other jewelry out of parts of their loved ones. Well, it's just like I have hair of my mother. Yeah, you have your mother's hair. Yeah. yeah. And to me, that's a, a, a treasure. Yeah. But now, people would never even no. think... They would never even conceive the idea of keeping parts of somebody they knew. Well, you know, I went to my first funeral, I, I think I was five years old. Mm -hmm. Now, my niece, uh, she didn't go to a funeral. She was quite, a, you know, the, the shielding of children to death. Mm -hmm. right, against death. You know, the thing is, death is just part of, of our life. I was just thinking, you know, if this was the movie, right? Yeah. There'd be this ominous music. I'd be wearing bib overalls, right, and have two teeth, and you'd be going around in the, in in in, in, in a lab coat. No, no, you'd be going around in in the, in the uh, cutoffs that go right up that shows the cheeks of your bum and a little skimpy top. Oh, you mean like the Rob Zombie movie? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I was thinking of doing some sort of parody of that because I've got enough rotting corpses around here that I can do it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that would be hilarious, you know. Yes, this would be your uh, 
your real weird type movie. Yeah. Well, it would not be House of a Thousand Corpses. No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We haven't got a thousand yet. No. Now, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the palate and the teeth. The little tiny squirrel teeth. Those are grinding teeth. Now, the difference between this little guy and my Degu would be the, the, in this kind of structurally, would be the teeth. Because Degus have, have teeth that are like a figure eight on the grinding surface. Squirrels, they, they're not really figure eight like. They've got a separation for them, but there's nothing like that. Nothing as elaborate. And no, I did not dissect my little slash. He was a cool little fella. Yeah. Yeah, that last day he was saying goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, he knew he was sick. Oh well. Nothing we could do. Yeah. He died one exa exactly one month after we moved down here. slippery. I think it was the climate change down here because... It was the air conditioning in the van he had gotten pneumonia. Yeah. That was one hot day. Yeah, we had the air conditioning turned up full. My god, that was hot. Moved, what was it, 32 degrees? Yes. My god, that was hot. It was 32 degrees and I was wearing polar fleece pants tank top. And you and the movers were looking at me like I was an alien. Yeah. Those were, good you know what, they were a good guy. Bentley was a really, really good guy to deal with. Yeah. All right. I'm glad I chose him. wonder how he's doing. Well, I'm sure you'll find out. You'll probably be in the, in the city one day. And yeah, I see it. That is a squirrel tongue. It's amazing how big the tongues are, though. Yeah. You know, like you look at a cow tongue and, you know, bloody things foot long, you know. And that's without being down the throat. Yeah. Now you're going to leave some extra flesh on that area because it's so small? Yeah. Well, you, not only can you not get all the flesh off because of how tiny and fragile the bone is, but also where it is so small, you want to have something on it that's going to make enough smell to attract the bugs. Yeah. Well, the ants will be going gangbusters. Very soon. Yeah. I wonder if the Ant Highway has opened up yet. Well, I don't think it would be open yet. But that's probably about all as far as I'm going to take this. I'm starting to see the different little portholes for yeah. veins. and. But you would not want to be attacked by that. No. I mean, just something like that would be too big. Man, that would be brutal. Oh yeah. And fast. I mean, you, you, need, you need a you need an M16 to take it out. <laughs> you have to be volume of fire on that. Mm. Uh, what do we got here? Moose, 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 pig. Huh? Pig teeth. Pig teeth. And over there is a complete pig skull. Oh yeah. You dug that out of the flesh.